In other words, when you have time to prepare, to prepare for a record or a song that you're going to record in the studio, then you have enough time to change it and rephrase it and rearrange it and do all kind of things, things to it. So by the time you record it, you hopefully are satisfied with it. Okay? And that's, uh, it's a creative process in that manner. You guys sit in there. Mind passing me up there, catching the air conditioner. John, we're going to do this song, Island Love, okay? Randy and I are prearranged. We're going to play about seven or eight or maybe nine instruments. Right. And four vocal tracks just between the two of us and Bobby in, in later on the vocal. So I'm going to lay the basic rhythm guitar pattern first, okay? Right, I And Randy you. will probably come on with a bass and we'll layer the leads and the vocals after your rhythm, rhythmic foundation has been set, okay? So let's start now. All yours, Peter. Tape rolling. One. One, two, three, four. Sounds good. Yeah, I think the next one is bass, Randy, so... You got the vocal in nine, so we'll put the bass in twelve. Yeah, right. Bring me up, bring me up on the earphone some more, please. My bass. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Randy, stand by, huh? I have my assistant there. He's going to lower the mic. Okay. What kind of view you want? What kind of sound do you want out of your guitar? Take some high top. You want more treble on there? Yeah, I want a okay. Fender type of sound. Okay. Okay, how's that? Right on. Good enough? Randy, stand by him. Huh? All yours, Randy. Roll him. Coming up. One, two, one, two, three, four. Take me to a 
Here's a playback, Peter. 